Hey guys, Lewis here, and I'm back with another episode of XCOM Enemy Within. Since the last time Charlie's squad went out on a council mission out in France, tracked down a French convoy that was transferring some very sensitive cargo with information provided to us by the Exalt captive. We've had held captive for several months now, as well as information from the council. We managed to track down the convoy to a nearly destroyed dam and found out the aliens had intercepted the French convoy. Luckily we were able to, the forces that were trying to secure the cargo and secured it for ourselves. It turns out that the cargo that the French were transferring was Annette Duran who has now joined our own forces. Now she is a bit curious here as she does seem to have some sort of ability which does raise some suspicions for myself and Dr. Valen and her team is looking into it. For now, let's scan for some activity. Alright, we have several things on the list that's going to be done over the next few days. Our gene modifications for Richard, Sam, and John will be done in two to three days. Shay will be out of her cybernetic surgery in two days. And our first batch of psionic testing will be done in four days. After that, is various projects from engineering will be completed. So let's scan for some activity. Ah, we have a request from the United Kingdom, Muton Corpses. They're requesting 8 Muton Corpses. We have 24 in stock. The CEO of Britain's leading genetics research firm feels that Mutons might provide crucial insight into designing new techni techniques for regenerating tissue. He's willing to give us whatever support he can in return if we can give them access to the Muton Corpses we currently have. Well, there's not much research being done at the moment and we don't really have need for the Muton Corpses, so I might as well just take this eat. Take this now, help the UK out. EO from the United Kingdom got back to me with very favorable news. They're delighted with their findings and are happy to help us in any way that, that they can. We got our five scientists transfer. Let's check in on that real quick. I appreciate your efforts to It's not like we have any other research to do, but hey, more staff is more staff. Alright, so let's check the situation room. What's the new... Major breakthroughs in anti-aging research developed in British labs. Hmm, very interesting. And the report from yesterday. Damn crisis averted by well-equipped but as of yet unidentified team of operatives. Sounds familiar. Alright, let's go ahead and continue scanning for some activity. Ah, Shay is complete with her augmentation and Richard's out of his gene modifications. Let's go ahead, carry on, and head back to gene labs and put Richard back in. I know he just got out, but we're putting him back in so we can complete his modifications. Actually, we are short on money, so... We are going to go to the grain market. Uh, let's see. So, we'll sell a few UFO components. Those tend to give us a good return. We'll give up one flight computer and two power sources. That'll give us 190, more than enough for what we'll need, and give us a little bit of extra money in case we need it. We need to start working on the housing for this device as soon as possible. Considering what we went through to get it, we should be making every effort to provide a secure location for its storage. That's right, Dr. Shen, we do need to work on that gollop chamber for, to contain the Ethereal device, but as of now, I think we'll be able to secure it relatively safely. I'm gonna work on the gollop chamber next month when we have more funding. So let's go ahead and give Richard his memetic, uh, memetic skin. That way he will have a lot, a lot more opportunities in terms of flanking the opponents as well as keeping up with the team due to his snapshot ability. Let's go ahead and confirm that. That takes up 150 credits and 65 candidate for surgery immediately. I will notify you when the genetic modification process is completed. Fortunately, that took up pretty much all of our mouths, so we're stuck in the waters for now. Is there anything else I want to make at the moment? Probably not. Though I could probably use some more particle particle cannons, but unfortunately those cost a bit too much. Alright, well, let's continue scanning for some activity for now, then. We may be onto something, Commander. Our latest candidate is... different. 
we're picking up levels of psionic energy unlike any we've detected in the previous tests. Alright, we have the message from Dr. Valen from the Scilabs. Sam and John are done with their gene modifications, but let's take a look at the results from the Scilabs. What have we got, Dr. Valen? Ever since mankind first looked up at the stars, we have wondered what lies beyond. So very few have dared to look in the dark. The depths of the human mind hold more secrets than we can possibly imagine. How ironic that the means to defeat our enemy comes not through weapons or machines of war, but from the sin. And if we have succeeded, we will have gained a glimpse of what we are to become. We will have created something... extraordinary. Alright, our Psy experimentation has revealed that one of our soldiers has psionic powers. Very, very good to hear. Jason! first of our forces to have been confirmed with psionic capabilities. Congratulations, Jason. Looking into that very soon. Alright, actually, before I continue, I have received a message from the council. I will need to take this call right now, so I will be right back. Alright, and I'm back. Uh, the council is very jumpy of uh, recent events, and many of the council nations are complaining about this occurrence of the new alien ship appearing. As it is, panic is still under control, but they do they are urging us to do something about it, which we will. But we have work to do and we need to focus on the short term goals before we start worrying about the long term. So let's actually head back to the Psy Labs. Uh, JP will be done with his testing in six days. I'm going to go ahead and add someone uh, who should I add next? Oh, Kathy is doing well. I think Kathy can cover for John. So, John, let's try again with you. We'll put you back in there. Hopefully, I won't need to pull you out. Because I think with Jason out there, he can at least support the others. Alright, that should do it for now. So, let's go ahead and continue scanning for some activity. We have ourselves a terror mission out of Port Said. Going to be a very difficult mission out in Egypt. Richard is also done with his gene modification. Actually, oh, are you kidding me? I got another message from the council. One moment, I'll be right back. All right, that's two calls in a row from the council. They are really jumpy because even though I get the alert for a terror mission, they're still interrupting me. All right. Let's check with the Sky Ranger, go ahead and clear out the roster, and decide on the team to go out there. I think we're gonna send Jason out there, put his new psionics to the test. Go ahead, give him his psionic ability, his mind fray, which is ta causes a target to lose grip on reality, inflicting penalties to aim, will, mobility, and doing five base damage. All right, Jason, let's go ahead, put your shoulder pads back on can't lose you out in the field as you are our only psionic troop. Wait a minute. Why do you not have your arc thrower? Where Where's the arc thrower? Ah, all right, back to engineering. Let's make an arc thrower real quick for Jason. Do we not have an ethical obligation to prepare these soldiers for the changes, permanent changes that they will experience? All right, let's go ahead and get that arc thrower. Mark it in the history books. This is the end of an era for mankind. Even after we've defeated the remaining aliens, what then? Have we sacrificed our own humanity for a taste of their technology? And if we manage to exploit this power further, do we risk being consumed by it, presumably just as they were? 
Well, we'll have to leave the philosophical consequences for after the invasion. We'll see if it was worth it, but victory over the aliens is what we need right now. These advancements could completely change the course of scientific progress. A new, untouched field of study just waiting for able minds. Looks like Dr. Valen, however, is very happy with the new, new possibilities of research, so she's all for it. Anyway, let's go ahead and revisit the roster. Go ahead and clear out everybody again except for Jason. Give him the arc thrower. Come on, there we go. Alright, let's see. We'll get Shay out on the mission. We'll need to grab the paladin from Mike as well as his particle cannon. Uh, since she is an assault based mech, we'll give her the damage reductions and mobility options. There we go. Well, let's go ahead and get her gear from Mike. There he is. Let's grab it. Get her equipped. Alright, that's taken care of. Let's get the rest of Charlie's squad out there. Don't think we'll need Kathy for this mission, so it'll be fine with Jason leading it. So we'll get Nikolai for some heavy firepower. Same with KR. Need the two of them to do a lot of damage. Uh, we'll be bringing along Corey for sniper support, and we'll be bringing Austin for his reflexes. Alright, everybody's geared up and ready to go. Let's launch the mission. Alright, let's begin our assault. We're dropping you just inside the Egyptian border. Reports continue to indicate alien activity taking place within a major city. If the aliens are targeting civilians, panic is going to spread. Alright, we have Operation Bloody Blade, an alien terror attack in Port Said, Egypt. Alien terror attack is in progress, strong civilian presence. Take care to avoid civilian casualties as we're evacuating them. Failure will have severe political consequences for XCOM, and with the council being as jumpy as they are today, sorry, interrupted me twice, it'd probably look best if we do the mission well. So let's make sure this evacuation goes as smoothly as possible. So let's launch the mission. Affirmative, Big Sky. Squad is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your fire out there. We have civilians on the ground. Repeat, civilians are in the AO. Alright, let's start with moving Jason first to scout it out. Jason, let's get over there and get that civilian out of here. Move into position. Got Chris Lynch right off the bat, right in front of us. Good, they're all coming towards us. What can you do with this mind fray of yours? Only 16% to hit? Yeah, I don't like those odds. Let's go for a standard shot then. 100% maybe. Let's see what the rest of the team can do as we move up. KR, let's move you up over here. I'm on it, Commander. Get that chrysalid off of Jason. Alright, that's a chrysalid down. Got two more on the side over here. Jay, let's have you moving around. I'm on my way. Got them in your sights. Alright. 82, 79. Go for the 82. Alright, and Jay's got herself a promotion. Target Very nice. Divide. Corey, let's get you over here. Can you get a shot on that crystal? Yes, you can. What is your percentage? 74. Not bad. Take the shot. Doing good. Strong push right now, but that taxi is on fire. Don't know if Shay is far enough away from it to avoid damage. I'm hoping she is. Jason, hold your position here. Going over watch. Nikolai. Let's have you move up over here. 
Roger, Austin, Roger. I want you moving up. I want to uncover any more enemies just yet, so we'll move you over here. Gen 4. What is that strange blip right there? It's not like... Is there a seeker there or not? I hear a cyber disk. And I hear heavy mech movement. So it's either a mechtoid or a sectopod. Alright, let's move with Jason first then. Not much good cover moving up. There are some there, but we'd be dashing. Alright, Jason, let's move you over here. Aye, aye, Commander. Clear down here. Need to get you in better cover. Ghost, and we'll move you up. Ghost mode confirmed. Let's go down here, get an eye of the situation Position so we can confirmed. plan out our moves. We got two free chrysalids down there. Two chrysalids. Probably gonna go after civilians, but they do have bioelectric skin. So they might sense Jason. So Shay, let's have you move up, Moving go into overwatch. Nikolai. Moving up over here. We'll have you move here. Let's do this. KR. Get you moving as far as we can get you. We'll have you move here. On the move. Corey, you gotta get moving. Get you over here, get that civilian out of here. Austin, move up over here. You're clear, move out. moving out. Go, you're safe, go! Chrysalids are moving in the opposite direction, going after civilians. Target acquired. Okay, that one's coming up the ramp now. Right, we have the chrysalid in sight. Can Corey make that shot? 84% from where is that? Clear it out. Jason's got a shot on that chrysalid down there. We've got a strong position here. Let's go for it. 100%. Didn't take it down. Alright, one damage off. That's fine. We'll see if we can get somebody else to... Finish it off. That's affirmative. Nikolai has a shot. 93%. Go for it. Hostiles pacified. Jay, let's get our moving down there. Get the civilian out of the area. Already there. Austin is gonna move up as far as he can as well. Get the civilians out of here. Get to the ship and keep your head down. Get him over here. Running. KR. Can't get you all the way down there, but we'll get, get you up next here. to Jason. 10 4. There's two drones and the sectopod right there. You know where it's at. It's in Overwatch. Nobody sees it, and I don't like the idea of it sitting there being able to do what it wants, but we can't draw its overwatch. So we'll move down here, wait for it to come down. Shay, get over here, get that civilian out of here. You should get moving. Put you in overwatch. Eyes peeled, Commander. Austin, let's get you over here, get these civilians to safety. On the move. You have a shot on something. You're good to go. Now move. You got a shot on a drone. Go for it. Nice shot. He's down. Right. Still some more civilians down there. KR, let's get you down here. Get him yeah, out of down. here. Going overwatch. You're clear. Go. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Jason, let's move you over here, cover the other ramp, get that civilian now. out. You're safe. Now get out of here. Roger that. Nikolai. Move up into cover over here from a strong position. 
Aye, aye, Commander. Going Overwatch. I feel, Commander. Corey, let's get you onto the opposite side over here. Gen 4. There's a cyber disk. Sectopod is moving towards us. KR's got a shot. Makes the hit. Seven damage, not bad. Gonna take a shot or is it gonna move down? Alright, looks like it's used its move, that's good. Now I don't remember seeing it go into Overwatch. 4% is not good. KR, what can you give me? 51%. Just in case, we'll suppress it and apply hollow targeting. Suppressing We've also suppressed the drone behind it. Alright, Shay. Should be able to have a shot at it from here. Moving to position. Seventy-three percent. Take it. Gly has sixty-three and eighty-three. Well, if we can t blow up the sectopod, it'll blow up the drone. So take both shots on the sectopod. It's a hit. Doing good damage. I'm liking it. That's a mess, however. Austin, you need to move. Get over here. Go on. Head to the ship. Seventy-four percent. Ah, that's a mess. I'll get him next time. Jason, let's get you over here. Take a shot. Okay. Seventy percent. That's a hit. Alright, we got one shot left, and that's with Corey. Go for a headshot. Maybe a disabling shot. Go for a headshot. That's a mess. Ah. That's a load of bull. You got that right, Corey. Cyberdisc is moving to assist. Sectopod is turning to fire on Shay. Damage Heavy damage there. What's gonna do now? Taking a second shot. Alright, it missed. That was lucky. But if I recall... What doing now? All right, drones repaired it a bit. Something's going on over there. That blew up. All right, Jason, what can you tell me? What's the sectopod doing now? It's on elevated ground, cannon fire. It grants free overwatch. If the sectopod does not move, can fire. Oh, it's an overwatch, all right. All right, in that case, Austin, you are going to be needed here. Run and gun you up there. Not too close, but close enough to draw its fire. There we go. Now the, now the others are safe to move about. Cyberdisk is activated now, but that's also in Overwatch, which is not good for us. But it's fine, because we're more worried about the sectopod in front of us. Let's take a shot. 79% from where you're at. Only three damage, though. KR, how much ammo you got left? Can you suppress it again? Well, what's your shot if you take a shot? 51, that's pretty bad. Let's just suppress and apply hollow targeting again. 
Copy that. Draining ammo. All right. Jay, let's take another shot. 73%. That's a hit. No ammunition remaining. Corey, can you make that shot? 74%. There we go, set the pod down. Oh, hits Austin though, no, that's unfortunate, but I took out the drone too. Alright, Jason is gonna move up, provide some smoke. Rolling. Oh, the cyber disc can see him. Luckily he missed. I was not expecting the cyber disc to be able to see him. Alright. Drop some smoke on Shay and Austin. Nikolai. Could get up here and go into Overwatch. Or even take a shot at that cyber disc. Nope, don't see it. Go in Overwatch. Overwatch, aye aye. Cyberdesk is on the move. Taking a shot at Shay. Shay's taking some heavy hits. Drone is moving. Alright. Alright, Austin, let's move you around the side of the car. Get a shot. Yes, Commander. Both flying, so we can't use a. Take a standard shot. Six damage, not bad. Corey won't be able to see anything from here, so we're just gonna move him up, get that civilian out of here. Orders confirmed, on the move. Jason can get into cover and. Provide some assistance. Heal J Shay. Yes, he can. Right, go ahead, heal her up. Rub some dirt on it, you wimp. All right, Shay has no ammo. I don't think she'll be able to get into a good enough position to EMP it. So instead, we will move her over here. Risk a grenade by doing that, though. Move over here and reload. Hopefully, it won't chuck a grenade to hit all three. Ready to fire. KR is gonna move up and reload. On my way. Back in. Nikolai. You are going to move here, full cover and overwatch. Hopefully the cyber desk moves forward and you can see it. Nope, it's moving off to the side. Looks like it's going for a possible flank. However, Nikolai sees it, come on. That's a miss. Going for a shot on Austin, it's got a flank. Seven damage, not good. Drone is moving. Going for a repair. I think it's just down to these two, but still, we're taking some heavy hits from the cyber desk. All right, Jason, move over. Heal Austin now. Come on, time to Too bad we can't use. His mind fray. There's a lot of robotic enemies this mission. Nikolai only has a 53. Can KR see it? Yes, he can. 51. Go for it. That's a hit and a hollow targeting. Good. Let's see if Shay can get a double. Heading to that location. Got 
and she has them both, but I think that explosion might be right next to her. Alright, we'll take the damage. We'll take them both out. Oh, it's just out of range. Good. Another one down. Good work, Commander. Alright, Operation Bloody Blade is complete. We killed 10 aliens. Didn't lose any operatives, although we did take some heavy hits. We managed to rescue 16 out of 18 civilians. Bring them home. Alright, Austin is wounded two days, not too bad considering what kind of damage he took there, but he'll be back in action in a few days. Jay, you got a promotion, we could give you repair servos, which is two health, start of every turn for six health, which is not that good, honestly, as the aliens are kicking up damage. So we'll go with expanded storage for more ammo and more uses on your grenade launcher. Corey, you've been promoted as well. Let's see. Give you opportunist, eliminates aim penalty. Could be useful. Or we could use you as a finisher. This is good for taking care of your aim penalty, and which is good because you can overwatch after moving. This, however, is also good for you finishing off Troublesome Unit, and if we move you up to get you a better and it would still balance out. I'm gonna go for Opportunist, though. Alright. Not bad. Alright, Cyberdust Wreck, 5 Chrysalid Corpses, Insectopod Wreck, 3 Drone Wrecks, 18 Illyrium, 31 Alien Alloys, and 13 Weapon Fragments. A decent haul. XCOM squad deployed to Egypt has successfully stopped the terror attack in Port Said. Panic has decreased across Africa. Remember, we will be watching. Although my initial observations of the abductee Annette revealed little to explain the alien's ongoing interest in her, after conducting structural imaging scans of her brain, there was some evidence of focused trauma. At this point, it is clear she harbors a latent psionic ability, something different than we've encountered in the field. My hope is that you'll slowly piece together what's happened. Okay, that's good to know. Thanks. Keep me updated, Dr. Valen. Anyway, so I think that's a good point for now. So that's it for episode 49 of XCOM Enemy Within. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.